So the good news is last night I had no calf cramps either overnight or in the morning and I was able to go to work just fine. And for lunch, I went ahead and made uh, some hot wings like I did yesterday, put in a dozen hot wings, I nuked them for about you know five, six minutes, and then I basically ate that and that worked out really good for me. Have no complaints there because I'm a big fan of hot wings. But um, I, one of the things I noticed is that or that I've been thinking about is I probably need to go ahead and buy some beef liver this weekend because I've heard how it's easy to basically get hungry because you feel like you're not getting enough nutrition and adding beef liver to some of the meals that I make may help eliminate that problem for me. So although my hunger has come down in the last couple of days and I'm feeling more like I'm on top of the, the uh, satiation issue, um, I do like the idea of adding a little bit of liver to sort of help that out. So one of the things I wanted to mention is my wife is making meatloaf tonight, but I've asked her to set aside some of the ingredients for me to make my own dinner. So she's using uh, basically six eggs and then a large chunk of hamburger meat that we picked up uh, last weekend. And she's going to prepare it that way to make the meatloaf. But I've asked her to set aside some of it for me, which I'll show in the next clip so you can see what I'm working with. And I'm basically gonna add some shredded cheese to it. And on the aside, I'm gonna be drinking an eight ounce cup of whole milk with this meal to help make sure I get a tiny bit of carbohydrates in so don't have any more issues with calf cramps. So let's go ahead and uh, show you uh, what I'm working with. Okay, I'm pretty stoked about what my wife picked up at the store while I was at work. Uh, first and foremost, I have milk that I'm going to be consuming uh, one cup of milk before I go to bed. This is basically whole milk from Walmart. And yes, I'm starting with essentially the cheap stuff, but uh, beggars can't be choosers at this point. Again, I'm, I'm starting this journey. It's not guaranteed to go less than 30 days. It may go beyond that, but I need to start somewhere. And another thing she bought without my prompting is Himalayan pink salt, but this is the fine grain stuff. This is actually very soft. Um, powder basically compared to uh, the other salt this is what I picked up this is the very rough grain that's that's crunched up a bit it's not very fine and and powdery like this but she picked up this and it looks like it's resealable up here but uh, I'm pretty stoked that she got this so the next uh, bit of snake juice that I make I'm actually going to use half a teaspoon of this as opposed to half a teaspoon of that just to see if I even notice the taste I may not um, but uh, that's just something I wanted to show. All right, looks like I've got a little bit over a pound and 1.8 ounces of hamburger meat in a bowl, and that is what is going to be the basis for my dinner tonight. I'm gonna add some uh, cheese to it after I put it on a skillet. I'm gonna sort of fry it up a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm not gonna add any other ingredients to it, and I'll have on the aside a little bit of milk. Okay, this is just about one pound of beef. This is essentially a little bit of egg thrown in with some ground beef. It's 80 uh, slash 20. And uh, I threw in a little bit of uh, shredded cheese, mild uh, shredded cheese in there. And then here, of course, is eight ounces of milk. And this is gonna be my dinner for tonight. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a taste test for me. I've never had this before. Um, I've made a lot more conventional meals than this, but let's see what this is like. Okay, so it's not bad, but it is somewhat bland. I can see someone putting a little bit of seasonings in it. You just uh, sprinkle here and there to try to give it a little more taste. But what I'm going to try to do to stick to the carnivore challenge not add anything to this. Eat this whole thing down and I'm going to try to calculate the calories for this. And of course I'll be drinking this straight out the measuring cup. This is an extra me measuring cup that I've got that I'm just going to use as my cup for now on with milk so I can more accurately keep track of the calories. Not bad. So I haven't had milk in years. Like I think uh, couple times here and there I may pick up like one of those muscle milks which is mostly just you know chocolate milk with relatively high quality protein but 
Um, I'm just going to drink straight up milk. So this is going to be my dinner for the night. I have one more clip where I wrap things up for this video. Whew, that took about eight minutes to eat that entire bowl and drink uh, that cup of milk. <clears throat> so I have to say, I, I can get real used to uh, how quick and easy it is to make this food as well as how little time and meal prep is needed to put these meals together. You know, a tiny bit of egg, a sprinkle of shredded cheese, and a pound of ground beef, and a cup of milk is not very complicated, and I'm really stuffed. I'm actually more satisfied now with this one meal than anything else I've eaten in the last week or so, even before I started this carnivore diet. And, you know, I wanna build better patterns so that I can eat healthier. <clears throat> and I really do think this diet is going to be key to that. So uh, with that said, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.